Welcome back. We're pleased to be joined by Michigan Senator Nancy Cassis. Senator Cassis has proposed ending or capping the Michigan film credit. Senator, welcome to Am I Right? Glad to be with you today. It's a pleasure. Welcome, Senator. Well, well, Senator, we got film crews running all over the state. Clint Eastwood's been, been here. This is like Hollywood North, and uh, you want to kill the party. Why? No, let's um, get back to basics. Uh, there were 14 bills in the package that really started up this credit situation for the film industry to come like blockbusters into Michigan. And I voted for 13 out of the 14 bills. The one bill that I had problems with dealt with something called a refundable credit. And that is after you wipe out all the tax liability for film production in the state, you then give them a bonus check, a bonus check that's coming out of the general fund. And right now, the Senate Fiscal Agency has said, we are going to have to be paying out of the general fund at least $120 million this year, headed to $200, $300 million. And the Senate Fiscal Agency is nonpartisan. And can you believe this? This graph shows how dramatic this is. Film production credit is on a par with how much we are giving in the foundation grant for kids in school this year, K-12, and for Medicaid. And look at the reimbursement way down here. Sad to say for higher education and those families that are paying higher tuition costs, hardly anything. And yet one industry is getting all these credits. Now, you put all the eggs in one basket, and what happens? You don't even have enough money to help out all our small businesses that I give voice to in the state who provide about 75% of all the okay. jobs. Okay, Senator, but, but it has created jobs. It has created commerce in the state. It, without that credit, would that be the case? It's really a mixed blessing. We're talking not about doing away with the credit. We're talking about putting a responsible, practical cap on this credit so that it doesn't just keep going up and up and up and we can't afford to do anything else in the state. The small businesses in the state who got the largest tax increase in a generation last year are now having to pay to subsidize these very generous credits. Yes, we're in competition with all other states and yes, this has been a, a shot in the arm to some local economies. We don't question that. But these are not sustainable jobs. These jobs at the best last about a year, a year and a half. And this, fluid, this um, film industry is very fluid. They will leave, pack up in a second, in a natto second, and go to Connecticut or New Mexico or North Carolina, wherever a film credit gets to be a little bit more generous. But is it your proposal, that nanosecond that's going to make them pack up? Has we not seen in the last year a lot of excitement? We need to diversify the economy of this state. We need to do things that attract people in. Expose what's here. Has, the, has this film credit not succeeded in doing this? Are there not further films structured to be there? Has the buzz not started nationally? Michigan's a place to come. Is what you're proposing what's going to cause those companies, in your words, the nanosecond, force them to pack up and say, hmm, Michigan wasn't serious? I don't think that's uh, accurate at all, Debbie. Look at uh, the businesses that are here right now. Any particular company that has incentives to come to Michigan, for example, why aren't we investing more in complex auto manufacturing, which is, you know, GM's plight right now, and all the auto companies and other companies, any company that is incentivized will create jobs well, Senator, and will I have think a trickle-down effect. It's Senator, not exclusive to this. Senator, that raises a point. I mean, we've seen what tax relief, the ultimate tax relief, no taxes on an industry, has done for films. It's flooded people in here. Why not use that as evidence that getting rid of the business tax altogether is the answer to Michigan's financial problems? Well, in essence, in many ways, you're talking to the right person as chair of Senate Finance. We certainly are looking at trying to make the business tax more balanced, more fair. Well, how much, does the business tax, right now. how much does the business tax bring in a year? 
Well, the surcharge alone, which was on top of the Michigan business tax, is $700 million, plus a $1.7 billion the uh, Michigan business tax brings in. But this is a problem. We can't fix a tax on a tax. That local uh, gas station down the street that is paying. No, but if we if if we took that 1.7 billion and said, hey, we're going to tighten our belts as tight as we can. We're going to roll the dice here, get rid of the business tax altogether. What would that do to spur investment in this state? Probably it would, and that's what we argued for originally a year ago, Senate Republicans. But let let me be very clear. We can't keep this extensive giveaway process going with Michigan Economic Development Corporation giveaways as well as extensive um, giveaways for the film industry. We're not trying to take away the incentive. Can you think of any business that wouldn't love, just delight in having all their tax liability taken away? Just that, but not go on to give um, subsidized checks in the mail to these movie producers. That is the question. We can't afford it. Let me just mention uh, Representative George Cushenberry from Detroit. I think he got it right on, right on. And he is chair of the powerful House Appropriations Committee. He said, hey, look, folks, this isn't the wild, wild west in Michigan. We've got to corral this runaway Mustang well, we've, film credit. we've got to move on and um, get this film production going. So um, keep us posted on the progress of your bill. Thanks for being with us today. Certainly will. Thank you. And thanks to Senator Cassis. And we'll look at some other issues next.